All cells are surrounded by a plasma membrane and a plasma membrane controls what enters and exits that cell. We're going to zoom in to the plasma membrane and notice on this diagram that on the inside of that membrane is the cytoplasm of the cell and on the outside is the extracellular fluid. Now, if we zoom in, we can take a look at the structure, the structure that you're expected to be able to draw and label. First of all, you need to identify the phospholipid bilayer and notice that those phospholipids each of them is made up of a hydrophobic or water-hating fatty acid tail and a hydrophilic or water-loving phosphate head. And so they orientate themselves so that the heads are pointing towards where the water is, in this case like the cytoplasm or the extracellular fluid, and the tails, they're pointing away. So that leaves like a water-free zone uh, in between the two layers, the top layer and the bottom layer. The plasma membrane also has proteins in it and uh, these ones that I've shown here these are integral proteins but you can also have peripheral proteins. In addition to that some of those proteins are channel proteins. If you add carbohydrates onto your phospholipids uh, on the outside uh, you then start to call those glycolipids and the same thing can be said uh, if you add the carbohydrates onto a protein that becomes a glycoprotein. The last thing that we have is cholesterol and this is embedded in the water-free zone of the phospholipid bilayer. And finally, it's worth mentioning, uh, there's often a mark for saying uh, that the relative thickness of a plasma membrane is approximately 10 nanometers.